Mattel can no longer provide for the needs of us collectors. So we have to absolutely, we absolutely have to, like it is 100% necessary that we resort to customizers out there like Shane Cooper to feed us. Like we're starving over here, Mattel. There is so many things you could do for us. You could just absolutely bamboozle us and inundate us with amazing cars that appeared in the video games, Cars tunes and the pit crew. And yet you don't. So thanks to customizers out there, we are able to be blessed with these gorgeous, idyllic customs from the Cars video game. The very first one that had a ton of paint jobs or a ton of characters. And Shane Cooper, I'll leave his contact information in the description below, made these two. I have like a whole list of customs that I would love to be made that Epic Green Thunder actually put together, who's a YouTuber and collector's link. And so I just send them the people and like, I'm like, hey, you know, pick whatever you want. I'll pay you to make it. Whatever you think's easiest, like it doesn't matter to me. Just please do something. And he picked these two. I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> they're cool, I guess. I mean, I would have been indifferent between all of them, but these turned out just gorgeous. They are beautiful. I'm going to just say right off the bat, my favorite is this Ramon here. The King is awesome too, but the Ramon just looks so pure with those flames. I can't wait to get into them here. So I don't really have anything else to say. Shane Cooper is a beast. Please contact him if you want anything made. He's super ambitious and gets things done. I also got a few other customs from him as well that I probably will be showing off in a future video. But anyways, I do want to put a picture from the video game of each of these guys on the screen there. So there is the king. There is a decal on the hood there, but I just didn't really know what it was at the time. I didn't have access to like this one piece of concept art. So that's on me. That's why Shane Cooper didn't put anything on the hood. Honestly, it looks really good though without anything. It looks cleaner. As for Ramon here, Shane Cooper used a version with a paint gun and made it chrome, which is just a phenomenal touch. But this one's spot on accurate to the video game there. The expression is almost pretty spot on too, but I like it. I mean, this is just, I can't say enough good things about these customs. Some of the best I've ever seen, like the gloss finish that Shane Cooper did on it. It's just really smooth. Everything looks perfect, pristine. And I just can't wait to take a closer look at them here. So we're going to save Ramon for last just because he is my favorite. Now the king has a nice, pretty basic standard expression. I will pull up our typical king here where he's looking off to the left, which is our right or his right, our left. This one's a little bit more centered. His moth is down there too. A lot of people call this like blue angel or something because these kind of look like angel wings or something like the wings of a phoenix. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments below. What would you classify this paint job of the king as? There were a few others in the video game with these same decals, just different color schemes. But I really like the blue, yellow, two-tone kind of contrast it's almost like the university of michigan wolverines color scheme which i actually despise that school but still it's a nice little color scheme the reason i despise it is because i go in our game anyways light your tires silver rims just so well done i almost feel like i shouldn't be touching this because it's so pure right now everything looks really good so use a Chinese car for this one, as you can see there by the base. Wow. Just soak it all in, guys. I like how this bottom stripe here is like a darker yellow too. It's like an orangish yellow, whereas the top is just, you know, straight vibrant yellow. Very, very nicely done. And it's nice to see the king in something a little bit more fun because, you know, we've only ever gotten him in his typical Dinoco paint job. And that makes sense. You know, that's all he, when he's appeared in the movie. We obviously got this metallic version here and then the silver one that Mattel did in 2020. Those are pretty much the only variations we got aside from the damaged version. And then I also did a custom. Oh, my God. I just noticed. Look at how bad the decals on this guy are cracking. Look at that. Whew. Good thing this is doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I mean, I'm a little upset about that. Jeez, this guy is just coming apart at the seams. Look at that on the roof there. 
It's like a spider web. I wish it was a spider web. Still haven't found that spider, by the way. I was telling you guys about in that one video. Still haven't found him. We're still, we're still out here. He's probably watching us right now. He's probably listening. He's like, <laughs> I'm coming for you. Anyway, moving on to Ramon now. So we don't really have too many Ramones with like big boy flames like these. Obviously the original purple Ramon has flames, but they're a little stringier, a little smaller. These are much thicker. And so I don't really have a good Ramon to compare them to. We have the ghost light one, which probably is the most similar color scheme. I don't know why I pulled out the red one. I don't know what I was thinking. And then intro Ramones, also a similar color scheme. So I guess I'll keep them out, but I like the expression a lot. I like how the eyelids really fall over the eyes there to kind of give them a sleepy look almost, but it just kind of makes them look a little bit more low and slow. Like that is the epitome of low and slow. I love how this dark blue drips onto like the bumper there, that just looks really cool. I just, I'm so impressed with how he merged all these flames together. And look at how, like, you can see my face there. This paint is just beautiful. You can see that he made the little paint gun there, a metallic chrome. So good. So cool to have something from the video games. You know, I've got a few things. And then here we have Ramon licensed by RMNE. A little chrome there on the back too with some white. Looks really good. But yeah, I've got a few things, but not a whole lot. And so to kind of build upon that and kind of create a little video game diecast universe is pretty exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more customs of video game characters or paint jobs in the future. I'd love to get some of the characters, you know, like Lenny, Barry, Sonny, whoever the other Vince, you know, the, maybe the monster trucks. Like, I'm going to try and get those, but they would just be so difficult because there's nothing to go off of. Like there's no base model. Like for Gunman too, would be amazing. But like, how do you make that? You almost have to like take a different brand of a car. You have to almost take like a matchbox or something, which even then you're like risking it. Like how good is it going to look at that point? But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for these guys. I just wanted to really share them with you because I am very impressed with how these turned out. And I can't wait to share some other customs with you guys. I have a bunch that I haven't even shown on camera. I haven't even posted pictures of that I have that are just great. And the people who made them really deserve some attention. But again, shout out to Shane Cooper. Thank you so much for these. You did a great job and I'll definitely be coming back to you for more in the future. I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye now. Oh, and let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below.